This can be tedious. Because sometimes when you paste content in Google Sheets, it lays out exactly the way you want it. Sometimes it does not. Let me show you a couple examples and a couple tactics that I use that may help, but I can promise you I'm not gonna hit every scenario. Let me go to a Google Sheets. So here's a Google Sheet. Now, over here I have a document and I have some scenarios in this document. So the first one is basically just a Google Doc table. And you could be a Word doc table, but it's just a table of data. If I highlight it and copy it, and I go to my Google Sheet and I paste it, it pastes pretty decently. Now I've also experimented with, let me get rid of that. If I, The other way to paste is to do what's called a control shift, command shift, which basically is edit, paste, values only. Control or command shift V. So if I do right here, I do command shift V. You can see it puts it all in one column and that wasn't what I wanted. I really did want this. It worked way better. Let me do another one. Let's go back over here. Here's a set of data that I have, which is basically one uh, a group of numbers separated by tab. So if I copy that and then I go back to my Google Sheet and I paste that, you notice it dropped all in one cell. It's all in one cell. But if I get rid of that and do Command or Control Shift V, look at that. It put a, 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 a row above it, but look, it put each uh, um, value in its own cell. So I had to use the Shift Control or Shift Command V to get that to work. Now let's do another one. Here's another one. They're separated by commas. So if I copy that and I go over here to my sheet and I paste that, notice that it, all, it put it all in one cell. But what happens if I undo that and I do Command or Control Shift V, it still only put it in one cell. So that would be a failure. Uh, I'd have to manually extract that data out in order to get it to work. So that one didn't work well at all. Let's go look at another one. So I have a spreadsheet here. I mean, I have a, um, a web page. And on the web page, I have a hunk of data. So let's say I want to copy this data and I want to put it in each, uh, you know, separate columns, separate rows. So if I go up here and I just highlight and just highlight down, just get a hunk of it, don't want to get it all. And then I copy it, Command C or Control C. And I go over here and I paste that Control V. It put it pretty decently. It did what I want. What happens if I do Shift uh, Control V? Oh, uh, wow, that screwed. Did that screw up? Oh, you know what? It did put it in here. It put it in the right order, the right context, but it got rid of all the hyperlinks. Let me get rid of that and show you. It got rid of all the hyperlinks when I did values only, which is basically what Command Shift or Control Shift does. So those are a couple scenarios I have actually seen, and I, I'm trying to recreate it, and I couldn't figure out a way to recreate it, where it put all that data in one column. And when that happened to me, and I just can't recreate it right now, uh, if you give me an example of where that happens to you, I'll show you how I deal with it. But basically what I had to do when it put it all in one column, I had to take and write formulas, and I had to pull all the data out of well, out the, the first column and put it in the appropriate columns uh, and then I had to repeat the formula all the way down. It was very tedious, but I did find a way to resolve it. If I can figure out how to recreate that scenario, I'll create another video for that specific scenario. But the bottom line, what I want to show you here is the difference between uh, edit, paste, and edit, paste, values only. And that generally helps with some of the pasting of data into a Google Sheet but not every time. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy, and I hope this is helpful. Again, share with me a scenario with a hunk of data that's all in one column, and I'll show you how to write formulas to break it out and put it where you want it to be.